Good morning, Calvary Chapel, Half Moon Bay young people. I know that that's typically Mr. Rudy's line, but um, I like to say it too. I like to say good morning to you. And this morning, as you can see, it's just me. Uh, Rudy is still in Texas. I'm here in California, and I'm up in Elkland with my daughter for today. And so I wanted to bring you a little message. Uh, we'll be missing Mr. Rudy in this message, but um, it's going to be just me for the next couple weeks. So today we're going to study about Moses some more, and we're going to study the lesson in Exodus about the burning bush. This is a story that many people will talk about. This is one of the stories from the Bible that lots of times even non-believers know this story. And we're going to dig into it a little bit today. Um, I'm going to start right into the Bible, and then we'll go from there. So I'm going to start in Exodus. And I'm going to start in the book of Exodus, which is the second book in the Old Testament. And I'm going to read from the um, third chapter, starting verse 1 through verse 3. So now Moses was tending the flock of Jethro, his father-in-law, the priest of Midian. And he led the flock to the back of the desert and came to Horeb, the mountain of God. And the angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire from the midst of a bush. So he looked and behold, the bush was burning with fire, but the bush was not being consumed. Then Moses said, I will now turn aside and see this great sight, why the bush does not burn. So we're going to read a little bit more about this, this encounter that Moses had with this bush that was burning but wasn't being burnt up. And this time we're going to read from the book of Acts. And that may be kind of surprising to you because this is a story from the Old Testament. As I said, from the second book, it is one of the most earliest stories about God that we see in the Bible, apart from Genesis. And now we're going to read about it in Acts. And Acts, of course, is in the New Testament. So why are we bouncing around between the Old Testament and the New Testament to read about Moses? I'll tell you after I read it. Reading Acts chapter 7, 30 through 34. And when 40 years had passed, an angel of the Lord appeared to him in a flame of fire in a bush in the wilderness of Mount Sinai. And when Moses saw it, he marveled at the sight and as he drew near to observe, the voice of the Lord came to him, saying, I am the God of your fathers, the God of Abraham and Isaac, the God of Jacob. And Moses trembled and dare not look. Then the Lord said to him, Take off your sandals from your feet, for the place where you stand is holy ground. I have surely seen the oppression of my people who are in Egypt. I have heard their groaning and I have come to deliver them. Now come, I will send you to Egypt. So, my goodness, a fire in a bush. That's how God spoke to Moses. And Moses trembled in fear, and then God said, I will send you to take care of my people who are oppressed. And what we're going to learn in this lesson is we're going to learn that the more we know about God, just like the more Moses came to know about God, that empowers us to be brave and to be bold and to give us the most true courage, the courage that sometimes we need to talk about our love for Jesus. And God lets Moses know more about him in this lesson. And you'll, you'll learn in the lesson that Moses really wanted to know more, but he also wanted to know why God thought he was going to be good for this job. He wanted to know why would God send him to try and bring down Pharaoh. Remember, Pharaoh wanted to kill him. And why would God pick Moses to go back to Pharaoh to bring the children of Israel out of Egypt? And Moses also was going to ask God, what should I tell them when they ask for your name? So these are things that Moses needed to know about God. God was asking Moses to do a huge thing, to be totally bold and brave 
and to go forth and do his work. God asks us to do that too. And so follow the lesson and see how God helps Moses work it out, just like he will help us work it out. But before we go to the rest of the lesson, let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for this morning lesson. Thank you for this time that we can be together. Lord, we lift up all of the kids. We lift up all of our church. We lift up our community. We lift up our families. We lift up our nation. Lord, we lift up this world. We ask you to hold the world in your hands as we know you always do. You've got this. We ask you to give us the, the courage to trust in you and to follow your will. We ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Now on to the lesson. <laughs> 